is up you guys before we start this video I want to say make sure you read my description boxes because every time I upload a video I'll put in the description box something that you should comment if you see it in my description box and if you see it I'm gonna start doing video shout outs in my videos so quickly before this video starts I want to give a shout out to a few subscribers that actually read my description box and they comment some random thing I tell them to in the comment section so in my last video I said in my description box if you see this you should comment down below cozy season so I'm sorry if I say your name wrong but I will put a screenshot in here as well so that you can see your comment so the first one goes to Janae Sierra and also Crystal Dean she commented cozy season as well but yeah shout out to them too for commenting cozy season I want to give shout out to literally a lot of people in my videos yeah so make sure you read my description boxes when I upload a video see so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe thumbs up and comment enjoy pretend like getting up early is easy because it's actually very hard like I woke up at like 5 10 and I didn't actually get up until 5 50 so getting up early is a journey you know it's hard especially because I didn't get much sleep last night and somehow I ended up taking off my shirt when I was asleep I guess I got too hot I don't I don't know and I probably sound like a man because that morning voice is something serious. I look like some type of cartoon little girl character probably. So yeah, it's about almost six o'clock. The whole goal of this video is to try to wake up at five every morning and actually do productive things. This morning, you know, we woke up at five. We just didn't do anything productive yet. I'm gonna start my day now. I just cut off my heat and honestly, I'm already cold. So I'm gonna cut it back on, but I cut it off because I was trying to talk to you guys. So this morning I have a few things to do. I want to do my eyebrows because I don't know if you can tell right now, but they're a little trash. I use like a Nair um, face cream to like shape them up. I use this Nair face cream to do my eyebrows. I just shape them up with that. It's very easy once you like learn how to shape your eyebrows. I'm going to plan my bullet journal because I didn't do it yesterday, literally yesterday. And Saturday, all I did was sleep and relax like the entire weekend. Yeah, so this is day one. I only got about three or four hours of sleep. So, yeah. All right, so I look a hot mess right now, but I still have my like braids or twists in or like, you know, I look a mess. But it is like 7.15 and Starbucks is finally open on campus. They open at seven. So I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get a blonde, espresso latte they're so good like oh my god that's like my weakness right now i planned out my week not really planned out but i set up the daily or weekly spread for february it's been very simple you know very minimalistic uh so i'm gonna go to starbucks hopefully there's no line um people are probably getting up for the 8 a.m and like getting ready now so there should be nobody there so far i have a lot of energy um i really just been chilling since i woke up i just did my eyebrows like i said earlier then i come back i'll probably import some of this footage that's in my sd card now so that i can edit a little before i go to work today because i don't have classes today i didn't even mention that but i'm gonna work at 10 o'clock sharp so i'm gonna edit a little probably so day one of waking up early it's going great hopefully i can keep this up all week until thursday because i can't really document friday because friday is my upload days but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this so far i'm gonna get starbucks before it gets too busy so yeah bye i came out looking hideous all for some coffee <sighs> am i addicted probably you know, it's okay. It's okay. We all need our caffeine, right? I'm kind of up. Kind of 
I'm not up. I'm so sleepy. Like, this waking up early thing, it only works if you go to sleep early. And second night in a row, and I'm not going to sleep early, so I need to go to sleep before midnight tonight. But honestly, who goes to sleep before midnight in college? And if you do go to sleep before midnight in college, please hit me up. Please tell me what you do. Because that is hard. I need to figure something out because I'm so tired. Like, I really just want to sleep in and wake up at the last minute before class. I know that's not the best thing to do, so I'm just going to get up, suck it up, push through. So, yeah. I'm about to wash my um, shoes or clean my shoes because they're like really dirty and it's actually making me mad how dirty they are, so. <laughs> so class has been canceled, um, and I don't know how to react. I have this whole spot to myself. Ooh, hey, laying by the palm trees. What else do you want from me, huh? Yeah, it's been canceled for like the third time in the room. Like, I hope my professor is okay, but like, I'm not complaining about not having class. But yeah, I'm just chilling, drinking my Starbucks. This is the blonde vanilla latte. It's super, super good. It's an espresso. Like, blonde is the the new espresso that they release. It's like the sweet espresso. Like, it's not bitter and like overpowering. It's like perfect. So good. Well. I cheated today and I took a nap. This whole waking up early when you go to sleep really late, it's just not good for my body and my mental health. So I need a nap. This is the only day this week, I hope, where I take a nap. I have an event to go to on campus, so I am going to go in there, maybe vlog a little. Who knows? That nap was so refreshing. Like, I seriously needed that. I was literally passed out as soon as I came in my room. I was so tired. But I just hope that I don't stay up all night. God. All right. So, yeah. I need my mom to get so she can see that seat. That's a big blessing and prosper. <laughs> Brittany, that's too close. Happy Valentine's Day. Kylie just had a baby. Her name is Stormy. How long are we going to do? Good morning guys, it is day three of my little experiment, my 5 a.m. experiment, but it is not 5 a.m. right now, it's almost 6. Before you say anything, I woke up at like 5.05, but my struggle this morning was actually getting up out of the bed. I don't know, I just didn't like get out of bed. But, um, I'm up, I have a few things to do this morning. First thing I should be doing is fix my bed because this is trash so I have to fix my bed I also have to fold my clothes because those clothes have been in there since last Thursday and tomorrow is Thursday so that'll be a whole week where I didn't fold my clothes and this is what I did last year I would legit wash my clothes and then just keep them in the hamper and then just take out the clothes that I need do y'all do that too like I feel like everybody does that but you know until then they're gonna chill right there until I fold them I fell asleep um kind of early like I was in the bed at like 11 Literally, I couldn't even go to sleep though because literally a video that kept me up was that, I don't know if you guys watched The Ace Family, but Catherine from The Ace Family is having a baby. All these pregnancy slash baby announcements is like coming out of nowhere. I don't, I don't want to say what's in the water, but I am talking way too much and I haven't even fixed my bed yet. I need to put some music on first. I've been loving Spotify. A playlist that I've been listening to recently is the, well, it's a playlist that I made. It's called When You Need to Chill. I will have my playlist down below. You can follow me if you want. And I've been obsessed with Janae Aiko's Trip album. Like, why am I so late to this album? I don't remember listening to it last year, but I knew about it, but I don't think I actually listened to it.
Okay, so it's about nine o'clock and today has probably been, no it is, it is the most unproductive day of this week of the waking up at 5 a.m. experiment that I'm doing. And I don't really think it's gonna stay an experiment because I actually do like waking up early in the mornings. But yeah, when I got off of work today, I legit came back in my room, made lunch, and then I fell asleep. And the crazy part is that I didn't even know that I fell asleep. Like I didn't know that I fell asleep until I woke up at like 8.30 and I was like, wait, what just happened? That sucks because I have so much stuff to do. It might not even look like I have a lot, but that's that's a lot of stuff, you know? I'm gonna do the non-academic task right now because that won't take that long. The longest things I have to do is take notes for class and take at least one of my exams tonight because another exam is due tomorrow. But, but, I am going to the movies tomorrow. I'm gonna go see Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm gonna take myself out on a date because, you know, maximize your singleness, be okay with going out by yourself. Next week, I'm gonna work on making the entire day productive and not just the mornings. But this whole experiment is teaching me that, you know, I can actually wake up early and actually get stuff done, like, ahead of time when, before the sun even comes up. So that is the pro of doing this experiment, is teaching myself that, you know, I am a morning person. I just have to take that initiative to wake up. afternoon about three something three th wow I was right it's about 3 30 I just finished my last class and basically I just want to give you guys an overview of how this week went of waking up at 5 a.m. okay this very short but so basically waking up by 5 I realized that I have a lot more time in the morning to get things done for example this morning I worked on my extra credit for one of my classes for an exam that I have next week so that's just an example of the things that I can do when I wake up really early. I noticed that generally I'd wake up at 5, but I wouldn't get out of bed until maybe 5.15 to 5.30. Simply because that's when my body would be more alert, honestly. Like, I feel like if I wanted to get up out of bed at 5, I would. But my body just gravitated towards getting up between 5.15 and 5.30. I also learned that I need to go to sleep a lot earlier if I want to wake up early. Because I can't function on like a few hours of sleep. Waking up at 5. I don't get like three hours of sleep and I just I can't do that I need to learn how to manage my time more throughout the day so that I can go to sleep a lot earlier yeah I just need to learn how to go to sleep a lot earlier and I feel like that's the thing with all college students like is it even possible to go to sleep before 12 if you're in college like honestly I don't think so but you know I, let's I'm gonna try to do it at least a few times throughout the week a few times throughout the week I'm gonna try to go to sleep at least by 11. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this college week in my life. Waking up at 5 a.m. every day. Hopefully it was pretty motivational and it inspired you to wake up a little bit earlier than you normally would. Maybe not at 5 a.m. but maybe an hour or 30 minutes before you normally wake up. Do not forget to subscribe if you are new and thank you so much for watching if you are a current OG subscriber. I will see you guys on Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> On the gas, I'm just trying to pass all the red lights and stop signs. I'm ready to go. Before I get to the baby, that's a problem. Cause I'm way too scared to call and you might give me a stay. No, I don't really want to drive, but I think I'd probably die in Oakland.